A whopping 70% of Americans view Russia as an enemy of the United States, a jump of roughly 30 percentage points from January, according to a new survey released on Wednesday. A Pew Research Center survey found that 7 in, in 10 Americans polled consider Russia to be an, the enemy of the United States, with 24% seeing Russia as a competitor and 3% considering Moscow to be a partner. In January, in contrast, only 41% of Americans surveyed considered Russia to be an enemy, but 49% considered the country to be a competitor, and 7% seeing it as a partner. The percentage of Americans polled who see Russia as an enemy in Pew's latest survey is similar among Democrats and Republicans, 69% of Republican respondents, and those leaning Republicans said they consider Russia to be an enemy, as did 72% of Democrats and those leaning Democrats. So that means both members of the two major parties in the United States think that um, have a majority of members who believe Russia is an enemy of the U.S. The survey also found that an overwhelming majority of Americans, 92%, hold unfavorable views towards Moscow, including 69 who have very unfavorable views and 23% who have very unfavorable views. Okay, that's I understand that. Um, so. I, instead of talking about, because there's there's like a lot of ways you can kind of take this, I just want to say we, in January, we actually were much closer to what my view is, which is that people are kind of ambivalent, but they still know that Russia is a competitor to the U.S., you know, like in the same way that China is a competitor to the U.S., just another superpower that's trying to, you know, win out in oil and all these other um, global exploits. So... I've never really considered Russia to be an enemy. I mean, let's look at their track record. The biggest thing before this year was the supposed meddling of Russia and the U.S. Uh, presidential election in 2016, that, you know, this collusion that people were saying occurred for Trump to get elected. And no proof was ever shown. Um, and it was just kind of, in my opinion, an attempt by Democrats to delegitimize the victory of someone they didn't like. Now, when you get to the invasion, you know, it's like, think of how crazy this is. Russia invades Poland, which I don't agree with. It's wrong. We've been over this a million times. Um, but for some reason, that has to do with the U.S. They invade Poland. And that somehow involves the United States. That that makes them the enemy of the U.S. when they invade a country that has nothing to do with us. And you got to understand, by that type of logic where we just pick fights with these other countries, we should be considered the enemy for a lot of people. You know, like take, for example, um, what's, good, what's a good example? Yemen, you know, we, we assisted Saudi Arabia with bombing there. Um, and even after supposedly withdrawing under Biden, we still sell them weapons. If the Houthi rebels want to consider the U.S. enemies, there's a lot more grounds for them to believe that than we do with regard to thinking Russia is our enemy. Russia hasn't invaded us. Um, they're not randomly putting sanctions on us. I think we're much more antagonistic to Russia than they are to us. I, I, I very truly believe that because we decided to put sanctions on innocent people and when I say that, I'm talking about Russian civilians. We've, we've been over this before, but the United States and these other countries, if they want to, can specifically target individuals with their sanctions. That so you've seen some countries put sanctions specifically on Putin and other uh, Russian officials, you know, different Kremlin people. And they, they have shown that they're antagonistic if you just happen to live in Russia by virtue of the sanctions that they put on, which... Uh, again, are being done because they decided to invade a country that is not the United States and theoretically would have nothing to do with us. But we, we love sticking our nose in other people's business. And I just find it insane that we we have a majority of people who think of them as our enemies. I don't I don't see Russia as an enemy. They're, just, they're a competitor who sometimes does stuff we don't like. And if for them to be our enemies, I'd have to see I'd have to see them trying to invade us and slap sanctions on us for no reason but they're not doing that everything they do is in retaliation to something that we decided to start they haven't accused us of meddling with their elections with no evidence um when we invade 
Iraq and Afghanistan and Syria and Somalia and Pakistan and Libya, all these different countries that we've gone into, you don't see Putin getting on a lecture and giving a speech about the U.S.'s imperialism, even though he'd be correct if he did. But I, I just, I don't see how we should, if we consider them our enemy, they should definitely consider us their enemy. Because we've done more to meddle with them than the other way around. 